showed up. You guys kind of, I heard a couple of people wondering, question, what's this young married guy doing, hanging out with our kids? Uh, why, why would he come out and, and coach? And uh, when George asked me, uh, I kind of did it out of uh, to help him out. Um, I wasn't really sure. I did, had no idea the time commitment was going to be the way it was, and it's ended up being such a blessing. Uh, for my wife and I, so I want to thank you guys, um, and I hope that your boys have learned as much from me as I have from them this year, so it, it's been awesome. First, I'm going to talk about Paul. I don't see Paul, so good job, Paul. There we go. <laughs> next, uh, this one, uh, actually the next two that I have, um, I, I perfect personally chosen because there is something about you guys. Uh, the first one's going to be my man, Alex. Alex. The day I met you, you drove me crazy. <laughs> Daddy, come on up here, buddy. The day I met you, I did not think you were going to make it to the end of the season. I had the shovel in the back of my truck ready to go. Everything I asked you, you had a smart, witted comment, and you were just backhanded at me. And the reason why I love that is because I was looking a mirror of myself when I was your age. I always had something smart to say back, a reason why I wouldn't run, a reason why I wouldn't do what the coach asked. And the toughest part about it is you are always right. <laughs> um, so one of the things I cherished most about you this season was you started listening. And when we, <laughs> and when you did that though, I watched you grow as a baseball player and I watched you grow as a person. So if I can give you one word of advice, is even though inside you may always have the an answer or something, continue to listen and continue to grow. And I am so excited to see, as a man and as a baseball player, what you turn into in the next few years, because it's going to be super exciting. And that's one of the awesome things I saw this year from you. So Alex, here you go, my man. Mm -hmm. I don't have a pen, but I'll sign it. Okay, yeah, so here we go. Oh, here's here's the the pen. Pen. Yeah, goodie bag. Oh, goodie bag. <clears throat> Go. Thank you, buddy. Great job. And season's not over yet. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> that whole listening thing, too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that? I think they got that on video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I didn't know there was an X. For the <laughs> but, yes. You nailed it. I mean, yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. Have I, uh, I do motiva motivational speaking for families if you need. Is it fine now? Hey, my next guy, I personally handpicked Nicholas. Get up here, buddy. Bring him. Nick, the day we saw you at tryouts was awesome. Here's a kid. If you guys did not know this, Nick had never played organized baseball until this year. He showed up, and I don't even think you knew which hand to put your glove on. Uh, I, I remember the first practice, I said, Nick, run to first base, and he just stared at me. <laughs> looking at me like, which one is first base? And he went, and you stood on home plate, which, after I got to know Nick, that makes sense. That would be the first base. <laughs> one of the greatest things about Nick is... When you ask him to do something or you tell him to do something, he analyzes it to a T. I can tell when you ask him to swing, it's like you have to give him mathematical metrics because that will be exactly how he does it. And one of the greatest things about you, Nick, is you do every single thing that we asked you to the exact way that we asked you, and as soon as you did it, as soon as we asked you did it, and that is, you don't even know how big of a quality that is in somebody. Uh, so. One of the things I love most this season, you have grown, I would like to say 100% in baseball. I need a bigger number than that. Like tenfold, 537.2%. What? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go Google that, but <laughs> exactly. And so I, when Coach George and I sat down at the beginning of the year, our goal for you was just to get you to be able to catch and throw and to do the skills that a normal kid could do in baseball. With uh, not us, but you've turned yourself into a baseball player. You can go play with all your friends and in leagues and compete, which is awesome. I never saw that happening. So Nick, congratulations. It was so much fun having you this year. 
and we look forward to seeing you next season. Thank you guys. Oh. Nope, nope. Not the bottom's at the bottom. That, I grabbed it off the bottom. Okay. Are you sure? Is there a name on the bottom? That's it. That's one. That's yeah, I took it off there okay. and set it up there. There we go. All right. Do what I can. Coach George, are you up next? I am. Thank you. So, Coach Steve actually had Royce and Jordan. They're not here, but I don't know if Coach Steve just wanted to say something about the boys where you from there. Um, sure. Actually, I, what I was going to tell the boys kind of applies to all of us. So, um, I wanted to thank Coach George for inviting me to coach with you guys this year. Um, it was a pleasure and an honor to be able to coach with you. I coached my boys when they were going through Little League. So Pony was a big change because 10 years old in Little League, you're not leading off and stealing. Um, so we pitched from the windup and had to go from the set this year and do a lot of different things. I coached for a long time, but it's been a long time since uh, since I coached. So um, I appreciate you guys trusting me with the boys. Um, a couple of things I wanted to say about Jordy and, um, and Royce. Um, and I think it would be honoring of them if I went ahead and, and as if they were here. Um, Royce, as you know, was our great catcher. Played infield and outfield. Always with a smile. The one thing, or the, the things that I'll remember about Royce are his willingness and his big smile to do whatever his coaches needed for him to do or whatever his teammates needed for him to do. Um, he was always at practice. I'm surprised he's not here. Um, he was always part of our team. Um, one of the things about Royce that I remember is his fearlessness. He would get up there, whoever was pitching, and we had, and he was never backing out of the box. He never backed away from any of the hard pitchers. Um, he took them all on as, as a big challenge. Royce probably swung the bat as hard as anybody on our team and hit the ball with the most velocity and as hard as anyone. Um, in fact, he was smashing the baseball and we got onto some smashed potatoes and then it turned into tater time. So whenever it was time to hit, I'd ask Royce what time it was and with a big smile he'd say, it's tater time. <laughs> um, Royce, even though he played catcher a lot and infield and outfield, and he was very adept at playing the outfield. His big kid, a little hard to get started, once he got started tracking down a fly ball or going after a ground ball, very athletic and very skilled. I asked him what did, one time when he was getting his catcher's gear on what position he liked the most, and he said pitcher. So that surprised me a little bit because Royce was willing to do whatever you asked him to do. Pitchers a little bit have a different mentality. They want to be the guy out there on the mound. They like the attention, and that just didn't seem like Royce to me. Um, the other thing that he told me that uh, was a surprise to me is, um, so what, what's one of the funnest things you, you like about baseball? And he goes, the home run trot. <laughs> the home run trot. So I imagine that Royce is going to get a few chances to have a home run trot in his baseball career. He's a great player, a hard hitter, and I'll just be sad that I won't be there watching his home run trot. Um, one of the other things about Royce that I was going to tell him is that his hard work, his enthusiasm is um, needed by his teammates. He's the kind of guy that I think teammates would say, if you said jump on my back, we're going to go and get this job done and I'm going to carry you. He's the kind of guy that can do that with the team. Um, he's the kind of guy that's got positive attitude, enthusiasm, hard worker, um, and people just depend on him. And, and really enjoy it. So uh, that's what I'll remember about Royce. And Jordy, Jordy's a special kid in my